Hey, this is Dieter Bone for The Verge, and you are looking at the Pebble Watch, a really big success story from Kickstarter. We found out that it is ready to ship. It's going to begin shipping to the people who backed the project, all 85,000 of them, on January 23rd, although it's going to go through batches. It takes them a while to get through mass production. They do about 15,000 a week. And uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's actually pretty cool. It is an e-ink watch, and it's a smart watch that hooks up to your iPhone or your Android phone. And as you can see, it's actually relatively small. It just has a few buttons. You've got an up, down, and a select button. And then over on this side, you have a back button and a little charger port there. And that's actually a magnetic charger, kind of like a, a Palm Beer. If you remember that, it just clicks on there and begins charging it. And it's an e-ink screen, so it's reflective, but it does also have a backlight. So you can light it up so you can make sure that you see it. And the interface is actually really, really simple. Uh, you just go back, and then you can go up and down to select your apps. And amongst those apps are just a bunch of different watch face options. So there's a text watch face option or um, you know, fuzzy time, a bunch of different watch faces. And they've got an SDK out for developers that they're working on so that developers can create their own watch faces. So for example, here's a uh, binary clock. If you're into binary clocks, I can't read this. And it has a few other features in terms of being a smartwatch, uh, the first of which is you can directly control your music. It just does this right over Bluetooth. And you can just hit that, and it'll start playing your music. And you can maybe hear that in the background. You can go to the next song. Just like any standard uh, Bluetooth headset, that's how that works. And uh, you can also set an alarm directly on the watch if, uh, if you'd like to do that. Or you can uh, also just jump into settings here, hook up your Bluetooth, and do a couple other settings, change the, the size of the fonts and whatnot. But the real action is uh, with uh, notifications. So the whole point of a smartwatch is that it's connected to your smartphone. And when you get notifications or text message alerts, it shows up on your watch. And you can read them quickly. And more to the point, you can feel them. So this watch vibrates. And when something comes in, it's more likely you're going to feel it on your wrist than you would in your pocket. So text message comes in. You can look at it really quick. It'll dismiss on its own automatically, or you can back out of it. And then the next one will come in, and you know, same deal. And it has buttons over here, and you can actually scroll through to read the uh, holy um, or at least some of the text to, to see what you've got here. And then you can, you can scroll back. And actually, speaking of that, the, the interface is actually pretty neat. Uh, Pebble tells us that it's kind of inspired by the original Mac that had a black and white screen. And you can see the way that they've got sort of a little dot matrix gradient here, and uh, just you know, some pretty good looking icons. So in terms of basic specs, it has a 144 by 168 screen, and it has a battery that should be good for around seven days of battery life. And then you can attach a little magnetic charger, and it should charge itself back up in uh, you know one or two hours or so. Uh, of course, it uses Bluetooth 4 to connect with your iPhone or your Android phone. And uh, it also can do over-the-air ROM updates over Bluetooth. And so a ROM update gets pushed to the app on your phone, and then that can get pushed over to the watch. And Pebble's actually promising to release updates uh, as often as two or three weeks, which is uh, pretty cool. So we should see some more features coming relatively soon. We know that they had a partnership with RunKeeper, so we would expect that there'll be uh, some fitness apps here that'll be integrated in and presumably an expanding ecosystem as they go along. Uh, actually, one feature that they just added to it, which is pretty neat, is a feature where you can just tap it to turn on the backlight or even shake your wrist. So you can flick your wrist forward, just tap the bottom of the watch, and it'll turn on the backlight, which is a little bit difficult to see on uh, that dark watch. But if we go to something a little bit brighter, like that, and then we let it time out. Uh, flick my wrist, turned on the backlight. So there you go. That is a Pebble Watch, a huge Kickstarter success story. And it is shipping to the backers on January 23rd, going through that batch. And then presumably it'll be in wider retail not too long after that.